Well, hello, and welcome back to Idol Slayer. So today, we are, we have 52 dragon eggs, and I did finally complete the last quest. I just, I had a daily quest to kill Archfiends, I accidentally left it in there for a while, we were at 15,000, so I just mopped it up. That does mean we have officially done all the quests in the game. Uh, I did actually upgrade it, and it just made it an annoying demon that takes hits to kill, so. Alright, so, I do have a few things that I wanted to start with. Obviously, we're sitting at a hundred and something trillion, so we will be ascending that. Uh, we'll talk about the minions after the ascension, but just so you have an idea, we are at 2.8 quadrillion souls, so that's good to see. But first, what I would like to do is go to the casino. Oh, and I almost forgot. I honestly wish we could open eggs here. That would be so awesome. Just base it off the stage that you were just at. I mean, I honestly don't know what, what how eggs work, but... I probably should have saved this because now it's going to be harder to get a soul multiplier. But let's see what we get. Alright, we get a soul multiplier anyways. Very nice. It's only 20x, but we will make the most of that. I'm going to go ahead and grab this for the soul compass so we have that ready to rock and roll. And we're going to gamble. So, wait, before I start this. So, I'm at uh, 211. I need to get to 250. We are going to get to 250 today. Today is going to be the casino extravaganza. So, I did get some, some an interesting tip in one of my comments. They were like, if you're just trying to lose, why aren't you rolling green, green slots? And, I, you know, I was like, that is an absolutely great point. Uh, honestly, when I was doing red, and I even said this in the comments, the, well, now we only need 38. The whole reason I was going hard red was because, okay, so out of 100, out of 100 rolls, you should get about 46. I'm rounding down. I, I did the math a while ago. You should lose about 46 times. I mean, sorry, you should win about 46 times, excuse me, and lose 52, 54 times. So your net loss is basically 8 tokens. So the whole reason I was doing red was because it's like, yes, I will win some. And I mean, theoretically, with green slots, you could get the same luck. I mean, we could do green if you want. You're going to get the same luck. And But the thing is, it's such a small number. Because you got to think of this. I'm switching back to red just to finish my exposition here. Um, the reason you want to switch to, I mean, you want to stick on, uh, the reason I wanted to stick on red was, again, the eight token net loss. Now, theoretically, you have, like, a X percent chance to land on green. I think it's, like, 3% around there. I don't know. It's been a while since I did the math. And so, um, and green gives you 14X, I think. Maybe it's higher. I don't remember. My point being was that I didn't want to just roll on green to lose and lose and lose and lose and lose and lose. Just lose the tokens, right? My goal was to bet on red to basically offset some of the losses. So we'll see. We started at 498. We're going to see how this ends up. I mean, we're doing a pretty good job at losing because we're already down to 494. Can I just... No, I have to pick red. So it doesn't remember that I picked red. Hey, this time the green slot would have paid off and I would have won I don't know how many. I just really want to get this achievement out of the way. And again, you're probably laughing like, well, why aren't you just picking green then? Yeah, green would be faster. But again, I I'm doing this to offset something. And this way I actually get wins, too. It's not like I just straight lose. I still have a some win percentage. Hey, we're going we're going on the upswing. Realistically, I could just wait, and you'll get this eventually in, like, 200... If you come here every day, you get it in 250 days. Because you're guaranteed to lose a free... You, you're guaranteed to lose a free daily roll eventually. 
Unless you're the luckiest man in the surf. In which case, you would have so many tokens, it wouldn't even matter. I heard somebody played green and got green over and over again at the start. And somehow they ended up with like 2,000 chips. Like it was just like their luck that they got green like multiple times in a row somehow. And uh, they, had a, they had a superb amount of luck. And um, with 2,000 tokens, I mean, you buy, basically you bought the whole store. You could spend 1,000 tokens right off the bat and have 1,000 in the bank. You then would have to decide, okay, do I want the achievement bad enough to lose, you know, 250 times in a row? And if you did, you'd walk away with about uh, 750 tokens, give or take. Assuming you never hit green and just roll green the whole time. So. But we are in it to win it today. We are in it to win it today. I am tempted to switch to green. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see how this goes. I just want to get the achievement. I wanted to get that done. I wanted it, and I wanted you to see it. I wanted you to see the glory of my gambling. The method to my madness. The reason for the season, and the reason for the season is Slayer Chips. And see, we've already bounced back just by betting one. Again, I wouldn't really advise you go to a casino and do this unless you were really just looking to have a good time. Because Lady Luck can be a cruel mistress. I, I don't know if I mentioned this before, I actually heard about a series of a guy who sold everything. Everything he owned. His car, his house, all sold went to this casino and put it I think I think you have two different bets you can do at the casino you can do red or black and you can do even or odd and he picked it and he won and it was amazing up believe it or not we're actually up i'm kind of shocked at that just sitting here passively gambling we're up we gained there we go snake eyes lose 250 times at the casino and we're actually up uh nine chips just passively gambling like that so i mean that's the long and the short the long and the short and all it will be so the next thing we need to do for this achievement is actually get enough tokens. And as there is only the reptile eyes to buy, we just have to spend a thousand. No, it's not a thousand. It's uh, 568 tokens on reptile eyes. So, all right. So we do have a, we do have a rage. So I'm going to buy this. I'm going to, okay. I have a good amount of those. Grab two of those. We'll switch our gear out. See how nice it is. To, this is why I love the village. This is the one place in the game where I really feel like you can take a breath. And we can sit here and talk and just discuss things. Yeah, I don't want that. No, I don't need that either. Yeah, I'm starting to get like so much better at killing Vincent. I mean, it's, it's a shame that, like, I can't use these for anything outside of Divinity Points. Because I'm going to be rolling bows forever. I mean, I mean, I get it. That's the game. But, I like, like I mentioned this in the Discord. I really wish that there was a more of progression to the armory. So what I mean by that is, instead of everything being, like, strictly luck-based, 
that it, with the armory, like there'd be there'd be stuff that wasn't strictly luck based, and I'm doing a terrible job of explaining this. But what I mean is like this bow right here, right? What if I salvaged this bow and I had a chance of getting the piercing shot or the souls for bow or something like this off this bow because it's excellent? And then I could use that to upgrade a bow that I get. To kind of take it away from just being strictly luck based, you know, I don't need this. I don't need that either. To take it away from being strictly luck based. Why do I have this? Oh, that's my low level shield. Yeah, I mean, I wish I, I wish I could say I was good. To, I don't. I don't think this is even matters anymore. The material drop chance. And you can kind of see with the ones that I have kept, I kind of have kept them for that reason. I have thought about just getting a ring with critical chance like this one and upgrading it. I assume that. I assume it really doesn't matter between bow attack speed and, and uh, I would say probably craftable temporary item duration is better than bow attack speed, but where's my one that's good? Yeah. I would just like dismantle just to be more than divinity points, you know, that's what I would like. Because then, you know, you actually have an upgrade, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. You actually have an upgrade path. And like I've said before, I think it should be tied to the type. So, like, you can't salvage, uh, like, like rings and use those to upgrade everything else. It should be tied to the type of the weapon. All right. You ready? I'm ready. So, anyways, that was a lot of uh, me talking. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, so once again, as always, thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any questions, feel free to say... Wait, oh, oh, bonus stage. All right, we're definitely doing the bonus stage at the very least. Maybe we'll get something good out of here. Yeah, if you're wondering if I... Is Zerd insane? I am, I just, like... And the thing is, unfortunately, there's not too much going on with Idol Slayer. Like, it's really not a lot. Right? Like, I'm at 2 quadrillion, need to get to 500 quadrillion. And like I've told you guys, even then, it's like, do I really... Do I really want to, um... Uh, Ultra Ascend when I have 500 quadrillion. It'd be a little bit harder than that, but you get the idea, right? Oh, we forgot to look at my minions. I meant to show you my minions. We'll look at that after this. I do, st I do still want my soul multiplier bonus. Just one free per day that I could just... Pop it when I wanted to. 100% want that. That if we had that, I would. I, I wouldn't say I would try key trailing, but I would definitely try to do a soul hunt every game. Soul chest hunt every game with the multiplier. I would just save it. Wow, are we gonna get an actual flawless? Flawless? Well. Let's not celebrate, because I have actually blown it on this next part. 
Oh, hey, we got a soul multiplier. Okay, so we'll have we'll have a little bit of rage mode after this, dude. Wasn't expecting this, but this is this is the game. All of a sudden, like nothing happens and something happens. And I, you know, I still do that part of the bonus stage where I'm gonna know it. I almost biffed it at the end there if you saw, if you saw that. I jumped too soon. But I think that was a perfect run. We could have got the fader with that without the spirit multiplier, the spirit boost. I mean, I knew I would get it eventually. It was just I was so happy I caught that on video. Oh. Oh, you see what I see? All right, we have to be careful with the timing of this. Shoot. I didn't get the... I forgot to get the... I forgot to swap my gear, too. So this won't be as good. This... Are you kidding me? I get a soul multiplier with a chest hunt. Run into three minutes in a row. Wow. Okay, well, that was very anticlimactic. We're going to have issues because I don't have any of these. I do now. Oh, well, I guess I didn't. Yeah, see? It happened, but it happened, and I wasn't really ready for it. And I think I screwed up over here. Oh, I definitely screwed that up too much. Oops. Well, that's fine. We're not... Oh, shit. Alright, well, uh, we're gonna ascend again, and you're gonna probably be like, what? And it's good. It's because I need to actually go farm the... Uh... I actually need to farm the uh, scorpions after this. I was planning on doing that. Eh, screw it. I'll just do it later. Actually, no, I won't do it later. I kept my ascent. We didn't even get a bow. I just realized... I got a perfect run with no chest at the end. Oh well, figures. No bow, that's fine. Let's see. We're gonna we are gonna look at my minions. So he has these guys are up to 1.5 trillion. He's at 2 trillion. 3.4 trillion. He's really 238, but 12 trillion from Stone Golem. He is the man. And 24 trillion like these guys are just going to get closer and closer, aren't they? Damn, I didn't realize Stone Golem was hauling in so much for me. So that that's, you know, the end game. That's the end game right there, Them got those guys. Oh, you know what? We got a 20x CPS. We're, we're going to ascend. We'll do this really quick. It'll be quick, I promise. Yeah, I didn't even switch my items. Yeah, there has been a thing people asking for loadout with the gear, and I really don't blame them. I feel like the, it's not really, I wouldn't say it's like the biggest flaw in the game, but it definitely feels weird not having loadouts. Like loadouts to me seem like, with how much switching we do, such an integral part of the game that doesn't exist yet. And I feel like that's just a shame. Almost up to three quadrillion, so. And yeah, I did make a mistake of probably getting the bow too soon, but it's whatever, I didn't want to wait for it. I, sh I, I read later in the Discord I should have waited until about 5 quadrillion, which to me seems like the standard is you shouldn't really go past 20%. And so I mean, what I mean by that is you shouldn't spend more than 20% of your max if there's still things you want to get. So we're almost there. Oh, you know what? I got this. Let's pop that. Yeah, I, I don't even care about coins anymore. I just ascend, like, all the time. And yeah, I know, we just ascended, but I accidentally bought the wrong thing, so we have to do it again. I do wish you could have confirmation on certain buffs. I realize that that, like, 
isn't in the spirit of the game, but at the same time, like, I wish some things would not be eligible for how to buy. Okay, this is gonna go up quick. There's the demons. I just bought them on reflex because usually they were blacked out. Yeah, I was I was really convinced we were done until we hit that uh, soul multiplier. I mean, until we got the bonus stage. This is what I have started doing to catch things up a little bit, but obviously we're going to be in trouble because... Oh, I didn't have the bat long ago. That's a big mistake. That's a, that's a L. That's why everything was so hard to kill. This is the one negative about having a 20x multiplier. I probably didn't even have my shield for that, I bet. I really do wish there was an auto-buy where you could just set limits and it would just auto-buy. That's something I would really like. Especially at higher... I think an auto-buyer would be amazing. Especially at higher levels, if you could set it to, like... You'd obviously have to set it at limits, because if you set the auto-buy wrong... You know, like in phases. Because if you set it up wrong, you would be here forever. Because basically you'd be sitting there buying swords. Because like, oh, I can buy the sword. So, I mean, you, it, the auto-buy has to work within a reasonable limitation. Alright, so we still have... Let me get some more light spheres. Yeah, that's basically how I redo it. And that's why I don't... Like, like consider how easy that was. That's why I don't care about... Uh, oh you know, waiting to ascend. I mean, I doubt that changed anything for me. Oh, he got uh, an extra uh, point one hundred. So. so, so did he. So, I mean, I guess it did change things a little bit. But, that said, once again, as always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any questions, feel free to say something in the comments. I do always look forward to your questions. And as always, thank you again. And I hope you have a great day.